using an interactive whiteboard, the main thing to sort of get your head around, certainly this is how I, what, I, what happened to me when I first started using them, is that um, the board is effectively the computer screen and your finger is the mouse. So everything you would do on a, a computer, which is just over there, you can actually do from standing at the board. So this is the computer screen and this is the mouse. So rather than being rooted to a computer while trying to talk to your students and show them what's on the board, I can actually now present from here, this is my screen, this is my mouse. So anything I can do on the computer, I can do here at the board. So with that in mind, if I wanted to open a, a program, for example, I could just, let's choose a program. So I can just double click. So that's just a left click and I can open up a Word document. I'll just open up a, a, a Word document. Okay, so here we are. I'm just going to get rid of those tools. So if I want to move through the document, I can do that. If I wanted to go to the internet, I could just click on Internet Explorer as I would at the computer and I can get up the get up the internet, I can go to Google, etc. So whatever I do, or I was going to do on the computer, I can now do it uh, on the board. Let's just close that down a second. Let's close that down. So it's really just moving away from the computer. It did take me a little while to get used to my, um, I kept on going back to the computer. But um, over time I got used to actually presenting everything here and hardly ever needing to go back to the computer. Um, so I could be showing my students something on here. Um, I can just move down the document, etc., etc. So that's the idea. If, for example, I wanted to show the students a PowerPoint, let me close that down. I've got some, a PowerPoint here, so let me just open that. So as I would normally, let's just double click on there. Okay, so I have my PowerPoint, and I can go into slideshow. And I can just play my PowerPoint. So I would talk my students to present my presentation or whatever it is I was doing. And to go to the next slide, I can just tap the board and that will take me through, etc. It's probably hard to see from, from where the camera is here, but there are some um, buttons down here. And this again enables you to go forward, to go back, to end the show, etc. So there are some commands down here which are quite faint, um, but there are some options here for, for moving through the PowerPoint. Also, um, as I said before, there are two buttons on the tool tray. There's an on-screen keyboard, and there's also a right-click mouse button. So if I actually just click the board with my finger, that's effectively like a left click on the mouse, it's a go command. If I now click this button here, the right mouse button here, that now means that when I next tap the board, I'll get a menu up, which is what happens when you click the, the right mouse, uh, the right button on the mouse anyway. So it will bring up the appropriate um, menu for wherever you are. So if, again, if I click that, I can then end the show, for example do that again, it will bring up the appropriate menu for, where, for wherever you are. So that right click can be quite handy. Let's just go into, okay, into our show. So I'm just tapping on the board and I'm moving through my show. I might want to actually annotate over whatever's running on the desktop, in this case a PowerPoint, so I can pick up pen, I can write over whatever I've got running, and I can pick up the rubber, and I can get rid of that, etc. So that's quite handy. Oops. Again, I can just keep moving through, and again, you can see these down here. So I can say, end show. It will ask me if I want to keep my ink annotations. So I can either say discard or I can say keep. And that will actually embed those into PowerPoint 
and I can then save that and it will save those annotations or I can say no I don't want to. So anything you can do on the computer you can do on the board showing uh, PowerPoint presentations, annotating over the top of them, annotating over, the, or over whatever you've got running on the desktop.